Hi guys, Jamie here from JB Motion. Today we're going to look at how we can go about creating this cup of tea that you're seeing right now. It's going to be stirred with a spoon and it's going to look like real liquid inside the cup. I've talked about how we could go about modeling this cup in a previous video. You can watch that video by clicking the link above. Alternatively, you can download the model in the description below. I've also provided the model of the spoon, which can also be downloaded. Now, keep in mind that you're going to need Cinema 4D version R20 to take part and, and do this tutorial. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so it's time to put a bit of tea in this cup. So to do that, we need a disc. So go ahead and select one there. Let's bring this up along the y-axis and scale it up so it kind of meets the edge of our cup, but we don't want it to go uh, past the outside there. So I'll just bring it down to about there so it's not visible. Um, just double check that it isn't. Cool, okay, so in being your keyboard to show lines, we're gonna increase our rotation segments here. And we're gonna increase our disc segments also. And now we are going to create some T material. Um, so for color, we're gonna go for the color of T which is kind of like that, more like that. Depends on how you take your tea, I suppose. Some people like a lot of milk. Me, I'm one of those people. I'm just not getting the tea. Okay, there, there's a milky looking tea color there. And we're gonna turn on reflectance. We're gonna use CGX for this. Bring the brightness down to about 50% and let's apply that. And okay, so now we got our T. Cool. So we want to select our disk and then go to MoGraph Effector Plane. I'm going to make the plane a child of the disk and we're going to go to the Deformer tab, set the deformation to Polygon. Now we want to set the transform space in the parameter tab to effector and we're going to bring the position on the y down to about 30 centimeters now we want to create some fall off and it's going to be a, a field so you, you guys i should have mentioned this at the start but you're going to need Cinema 40 R20 to get access to these fields. Um, so if you don't have that, apologies. Uh, but if you do, let's go with this. So we're going to create a cylindrical field. But before we do that, we want to bring in our spoon handle. So I've already uh, uploaded this. You can download this spoon handle. Um, from the link in the description. So I'm going to control C on that and I'm going to control V and put that into our scene. I want to bring that up along the y-axis and I'm going to use the world object coordinate system to bring that straight up and I'm going to increase the scale of that so it's kind of spoon handle size uh like that let's bring it right up it's a bit big mm, about there looks spoon handle size does it yeah relative to the cup maybe a little bit bigger cool okay i'm gonna leave it like that maybe bring it up a little bit more okay so now we want to create the fall off on our plane and this is going to be a cylindrical field to match with our spoon handle 
we're going to make it a child of the of the um, lowest part of the hierarchy in our spoon and we're going to use shift C to search for reset uh, PSR and we're going to double click that and that's going to align our cylindrical field with with our spoon handle let's rotate that so that's it's going in the right direction I'm just going to go into my side view, front view. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to make this cylindrical field higher. Now you can see it's affecting our T there. Uh, it's going to be higher, but it's going to be... It's going to have a smaller radius. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So you can see what, what we're going for here with this. As our spoon uh, handle is going to be rotating around, it's going to create this kind of liquid effect in our tea, these waves. So that's the effect we're looking for. Okay, so I want to go and go to remapping, the remapping tab, and set the inner uh, bring the inner offset down a bit. And let's bring the strength up a bit as well. Can we go down any more on the inner offset? No, we can't. Okay, so let's see. We, this isn't very pointy. It's very flat there on the top. So how can we go about fixing that? Let's go to our strength. There we go. Bring that down. Still very flat on the top, but we might fix that later. Uh, cool. So we want to create, we want to animate our spoon so it goes around in a circle. So we're going to create a circle spline, and we're going to make our spoon align to it. So right click on your spoon, um, subdivision surface object there, go to Cinema 4D Tags, align to spline, and then drag this circle down to spline path. Okay, so we didn't set up our circle. Control Z on that a couple of times. Select your circle spline there, and we're going to, as you can see, that's set to the XY plane. We're going to set that to the XZ, and we're going to bring it up along the Y axis y-axis and we want it to be smaller also about that size maybe even smaller again and we want it to be level with the surface of our T more or less so about there now let's try that align to spline again right click on the spoon subdivision surface object Go to align to spline and then drag the spline circle spline down to our spline path field. And now that is going to be uh, aligning itself to the spline. And I can see that our T is actually less flat on the top now. So I think I know why that's happened. It's something to do with our cylinder field. So if I just bring the spoon up along the y-axis, it won't let me. So let's try the uh, actual, let's try to bring the cube up. Now I call it cube, but it's actually the spoon handle. I didn't rename it. You might do that as well. Bring it up along the y-axis. And we're going to bring it up closer to our circle spline here so that's what's causing the flatness there as you can see it's the cylindrical the cylinder field so what I want to do is I'm going to make this higher and that's going to get rid of our flatness now that's looking much better so I that's a bit the actual bump is a bit too high so to reduce the height of that click on the plane go to parameter and set this to 20 centimeters that's much better 
Okay, so now we're going to animate the spoon to circle around our teacup. I'm actually going to reduce this, the radius of this circle here to about there. As you can see, our spoon handle is following it because it's using the align to spline tag to about 93 on mine anyway. And let's animate that now. So let's set a keyframe here. Oh no, not there. Control Z that. We're going to go to the align to spline tag and set a keyframe on position. Go to about frame 30. And let's bring that up to 100%. And set another keyframe. Let's wait about... Fifteen frames before we do anything else, and we're gonna start the loop again. This time backwards. So from frame forty-five, we're gonna go plus thirty, and we're gonna bring that back down to zero. And that's gonna be our animation. So let's increase our frame range to six hundred frames, and let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that's going to be our animation, and we want that to loop. So to do that, Shift F3 in your keyboard to bring up your dope sheet, and select your align to spline there in the dope sheet. Go to After in the Properties tab. That's going to appear once you click on this. And set the After to Repeat, and set our number of repetitions to... Let's just say 50. 50 is definitely going to be enough. And that's going to repeat itself there like that. So it's kind of stirring away. Um, so next we want to make this tea look more like liquid. It's going to, we're going to go into our cylind go into our plane object and in the fall off tab, we're going to add a modifier to this. So the modifier we're going to set up is going to be the freeze modifier. So now that we have that in, let's just see what that's going to do. So it's just freezing the um, it's just freezing the deformation there in our T. So what we want to do in mode is set this to grow. And now you can see that it's growing outwards. So it's actually raising our whole disk right up. So we want to, we don't want it to do that. So to stop it from basically raising our whole disk. What we're going to do is we're going to add a delay modifier. And we're going to play that to see what that's doing. So as you can see, it's delaying the, the deformation of our disk. And we want to subtract that. Now this is kind of difficult to actually grasp but we want to subtract the delay from the freeze. So I'm taking a big deep breath here because I'm not really explaining how this works, but I'm just going to show you guys. I'm just going to set the blending mode here to subtract. And let's actually bring down the strength of this freeze and a little bit on the delay. And now you can see through some kind of magic, which I am unable to explain, unfortunately, uh, very well. What's going on is, if I just turn off the delay, the freeze is doing its business. So the freeze, I would, <coughs> excuse me for that sneeze, the freeze, which rhymes with sneeze, um, the, <laughs> the freeze basically is making everything basically raise up along the y-axis to 20 centimeters, which is what we've set it to rise up to. And it's happening with this grow mode. 
so it's rising up but it's it's staying up there we don't want it to do that so if we turn on the delay and turn off the freeze let's see what that does so the delay is basically let's set this to normal let's set it to normal and so we can actually see what the delay does the delay raises the geometry but it does it quite slowly now what we're doing with the delay turned on at the same time as the freeze and the delay blending mode set to subtract is we're subtracting this raised geometry from the freeze so let's turn this back to subtract and turn on our freeze so it's given us this cool liquid effect so if I just render that out now that is looking very nice right there I might even go a step further and put this disk into a subdivision surface object and uh, let's see if that made so it didn't make much of an improvement so I'm not gonna use that it's unnecessary um, so let's see what let's see what this is looking like so that's looking pretty pretty good I am happy with that um, so I want to set up a camera and I'm gonna center that into our screen and I want to turn on ambient occlusion so we get some nice contact shadows and let's do another test render there our contact shadows rack and we got our liquid tea rocking also uh, one last thing we need to do is we need to apply a, a material to our spoon handle now there's one in the content browser if you go to your content browser go to presets broadcast 3d objects and cookware double click on this drain and spoon and then go back to your objects delete the drain and spoon and then use the material and apply that onto your spoon now let's see what we got okay so that's looking more like a spoon uh, if this deformation isn't as noticeable as you'd like it to be I mean that's as much as a spoon is gonna do to T I mean you can always raise it along the y-axis here if you click on your plane go to parameter you can bring that up to let's say 35 centimeters that's gonna raise up the the deformation it's gonna be higher it's gonna give you higher waves it's gonna hit a and a on the keyboard there so that's looking pretty damn cool to be honest I actually like it higher myself because the spoon's going quite fast so it should be a bit higher let's go really high and see what happens okay so that's too high go 45 and we'll leave it at that because it all depends on the speed of your spoon well, that's a bit high. I'm gonna go 40 and also you can see the waves that are traveling along if you want to reduce the delay so the delay is what's causing the speed of the wave so if you reduce the delay click on your plane go to your fall off tab and let's bring down the delays to about there oh no we'll bring it up sorry bring up the opacity and then you're gonna reduce the you're gonna increase the speed of the waves so it might be closer to what you're trying to achieve but for me I'm really happy with this I'm gonna render this out um, and I suggest you do the same hope you guys learned a lot um, and please if you liked this video and you learned something hit the like button it doesn't take a lot of time and I really appreciate it thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video